Ladies and gentlemen, when you see these two faces, you know what time it is. It is time for the wrestling podcast for us, by us. It is kayfabe. Kayfabe! Kayfabe! They broke the goddamn kayfabe! That son of a bitch, bitch, Bruce Southern broke the goddamn kayfabe! Jim Cornette, we love you here, okay? Every time I see you, can't break the goddamn kayfabe! They broke the goddamn kayfabe! That's it, that son of a bitch! Well, whole heart, <laughs> whole just right here, and I love this Russo still too. I was like, he's done so much, but I just love just that. Oh, it's so great! <laughs> man. Oh my oh, gosh, gosh, man! Y'all see oh, the excitement God. with us right now on today's episode because, um, as I've been saying all week, um, since uh, before Friday, last Friday started, WWE is back wwe back. back in full effect we have chunked the deuce to the thunderdome era man you know you know no no disrespect to the thunderdome era because it we a hey, it gave us a lot it gave us a lot for what we had to do endure it gave us a lot before we very innovative out, yeah and very i don't want to pass very innovative it. Chitta do give me at least like like two two highlights that you can say to you took away from the thunderdome era um, I gotta say two two highlights from from Thunderdome era. Well, for sure, Sasha Banks and Bailey are MVPs of WWE. Yes, they carried that brand. They carried that brand. And real talk, I gotta. I know right now the crowd is they're not as hype for them as before. But yo, know, Muck Drew Drew McIntyre is somebody I felt like is somebody who I, it's, it's it's unfortunate though because I don't want to see him as WWE champion again. Like, I don't want to see him for a, a long time, but I felt like he did the very best he could with what he had in that era. So I, I felt like, you know. it was, You know what it, it reminded me of, to be honest? And I, and I know they didn't want to push it because it may have, like, kind of, you know, o, you know overstepped, like, into, like, maybe personal and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. for me, I feel like the Thunderdome era was Drew McIntyre's redemption story, kind of like how they've been pushing with Edge, um, for him trying yeah. to get like the universal title back and stuff like that. I really think this was Drew's redemption story for himself. Like, I really think like, you know, like you said, I don't need to see him as WWE champion for a while. I agree, but I, I'm glad to see this person that they did bet on, you know, yeah. drop the ball, had to go understand and like kind of learn a little bit, get his chops back, but then came back. Not only did he come back, take the company on his back, but during a time where every element that can help you be this greatest is taken away from you. Yeah. And then to still hold it down while whilst doing it. I'm just like, yo, it, it was a great story for that. I wish it would have ended a little bit better, as you said, but you know, just, uh, yeah. And I, it sucks so much too, because like when like Drew won the Royal Rumble, I was there at Men in May. It yeah. was all pro Drew. Like the crowd was going crazy and they cooled off on him, not on fault of Drew, but just because of bad booking, bad writing, bad mm-hmm. storytelling, yeah. 50-50 booking, redundant. Like, that exhausted him to the crowd so much to the point now where, like, we're back in the crowd, and the guy who main event at WrestleMania last year is in a feud with Jinder Mahal right now. I'm not knocking Jinder because they, they they can do something with it. They're mm-hmm. doing – them chair shots was, was – hey, hey, Drew, he do, doing his best with it, though, so I'll, I'll give his credit yeah. always. Oh, yeah. But bad booking, man. They get, they screwed over Drew. They did. They did. They stayed. Yeah. They, they they screwed over Drew. Um, mm-hmm. but luckily for Drew, I think luckily for Drew though, Drew may understand and like we understand. We get it. Like the fans don't hate you. Like you know. Like, yeah. No. We, we get yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. And I think yeah. he knows we get it. It's just like. Yeah. Just try to find something else to where we can kind of build that back up to where like okay now we need to see you as champ again. And stuff like that. But, you know, like, um, he did participate in Money in the Bank, and we're going to get into that a little bit um, mm-hmm. here on today's podcast, along with some other things. The Raw recap, SummerSlam, Thanks. heading to Vegas. Um, and, of course, a little bit of Phantom Fiction. A lot to talk about today. But I did want to just give my re- my, my two uh, for the Thunderdome era for myself as well. I would have to say um, NXT is one of them standout moments, uh, standout for the Thunderdome era. Definitely the brand that yeah. stepped up, went to war Ooh, with the yeah. other folks, and really just showed them like, hey, you know, while y'all are 
trying to get it together over their main shows. We're going to show y'all how it's done in the house. Yo, to, to, to Io Shirai, to Raquel Gonzalez, to Adam Cole, to Kylo Riley, to, uh, uh, it's, hey man, even carry across with his yawning career having ass. Yo, man, you, you are what part I- you, you were a part of it. You and we gonna get into him today too. But you, we, you were also a part of that movement during this Thunderdome. Yes, and, and y'all, and you know, I don't know if people give NXT enough credit when it comes to the Thunderdome era. But y'all are one of the main reasons. Y'all carried that era on y'all back, and I really just think that y'all should be uh, applauded for that. And then the second one goes to I know people are gonna hate it, but to 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 me. The greatest heel turn better than Hollywood Hulk Hogan. You never saw it coming. Oh my God, that's Roman right. Roman fucking oh my God, Reigns. That's right. Yo, oh I don't God, care. That's right. Bro, when nobody yeah. say Roman Reigns had the, like, yo, everybody still talk about Bash at the Beach. Bro, yeah. Summer Slam 20, 20, 2020. You'll Bro. never see it coming. Changed. The way they said that too changed everything, and carry and has been carrying that mantle. We gonna get debatably. We gonna say debatably. I was about to say flawlessly, yeah. but I can't say that because we 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 saw, we saw some things these past this past week and stuff like that. So we are gonna go ahead and already jump in it um, with something that I think you and I should definitely talk about when it comes to giving flowers because um, history was made. And um, the two of us got to be a part of history. As it has been said, ladies and gentlemen, there has not, due to pandemic, there has not been a live audience for over 70 weeks in the WWE. And if you are a wrestling fan, you know, even for yourself, not being in there, not feeling that energy from the crowd, not feeling that energy being in the crowd, being able to give it out for 70 weeks. Like, yo, that's like, I hate to compare it to this, but it's like, it, it is literally like taking a substance away from a substance user. You know what I'm saying? Or just something like, you know, let me not say that. That's like having a person that 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 works out all the time can't go work out no more. That's a better, that's a better, that's a better example. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it's a, it takes out all the stuff. They didn't took out all the good machines, all the stuff. So you only got maybe a few to work with that you got to try to do your stuff. But audience is back this week. Like, like yo, it's it started. The first one that started at was 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 at WrestleMania. Um, this past year in Tampa, where I had the pleasure of being getting gotten to witness in person the return of the live audience, it was so fucking magical. But oh, I know it was. Oh, it was just so magical. But I have to be honest though, and I'm gonna keep it very real, Chenna, dude, just because you are a friend and just because of your hard work and the respect I have for you, and just I always have to give credit where credit is due. SmackDown returned last Friday to Houston, Texas in a live audience. And I got to say, and I know people ain't going to want to hear it. Yo, y'all outdid us at WrestleMania. And for those that don't know, Chinadu was in attendance there. And I let me tell you, when you can feel the energy through the television, that's something different. Ooh. That's when I different. tell you. When Edge's music hit, I'm not playing with y'all. People, it was people in that crowd in tears, like legit, like in tears, like cheering. Like, I think I ain't gonna lie. If you look, I think Edge almost got choked up for a second because no, like, he did. that because that was a because like you hear that, like that was attitude era. Oh, right? yeah. Like it was like the whole, the whole when I when I tell you people that were in concession ran out, and it was like, yo, whoa, he can't, man. Yeah. Like, for him and Bianca Belair, whoo, bro. Whoo. Bro. It's just, it's, it's, 
you always see, you know, you know what got me to it's when we see those commercials, when they do like them little packages and you see all of the things that they put together for when it's like, we are WWE and all this stuff in these epic moments. And it's like to see that, like, I remember watching, um, Money in the Bank, and they were doing, they were showing Rhea Ripley's like rise to be get becoming the Raw Women's Champion, and it's like when she beat Oscar and stuff like that, and to see like the expression on her face, but to go like, you see the angle, and you're like, bro, I'm right back there. I was yeah. right there when yes. that happened. Like that yes. emotion is what I was feeling. Yeah. Yo, it, it's unlike any other. Thing. I see why all of these people continue to come back, bro. I see yeah. why they just like can't give it up, bro. It, it is unlike anything. Yeah, it's it's and I, I tell people all the time, like those people who who are still on the people, the people that oh wrestling's fake and oh and still, you know, and like when they think of wrestling, they do like Stone Cold impersonations or Hulk Hogan impersonations. They're that out of touch. I tell people come, if you come to a live crowd, just watch it. It's not even about the wrestling. It's 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 it's, it's about the athletes you see, the energy from the crowd, and just like the it's. It's, 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 it's honestly its own world. I, I tell people, like, if you if you just suspend this belief and come into this world and you see it, you will enjoy it. I promise you. Like, I tell people, it's like, it's, it's this show's been on air for decades, guys. And it can't be on, you know, albeit you can say ratings are bad, whatever. We're in a new technology. We're in a new era of technology. If you can be on at this point for this long, you're still doing something right to Indeed. a certain degree. So, I mean, like, you still. So, it's like, I tell wrestling. That crowd was a listen, like the booze, the cheers, like after the show, like after the show, like Biggie, like they did a they did a dark match. This is what you guys didn't see. The, uh, they did a dark match. They did a, a over the top battle royal mm -hmm. to see who would face Seth Rollins in the match right after. Biggie won the battle royal, and then Biggie beat Seth Rollins. All right, this was the go home mm. show, the go home show. All right, and they stayed in. Biggie stayed for another like ten minutes and took pictures with people in the crowd. And then he left. Ooh, so that sets up something really good for our talk That's what, later in the podcast. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That context, yeah. though. Yeah. It was amazing, man. I tell you, like, the crowd, like, when I tell you, like, they, they had to tell us to leave, guys. Like, we were still, when I tell you, you know, most times for dark matches, people are kind of falling out. When I tell you, 80% of the crowd was still there for the dark matches. Because we we're like, we've been gone for so long. We want, our every, like, listen, we, we here. And I yeah. and like it took me, and I got to the parking lot. I sat in my truck for like a good hour, just sitting there because the uh, foreign traffic was that bad too, though. But yeah. also too, it was just like to see people come out and watching people come back in costumes and with the stuff, whatever. And like you saw people like, like you know, people were cutting promos in the crowd, like classic promos from old stuff, whatever. Yeah. This one guy, this one guy did a classic rock Austin promo. He did both voices out there. I was like, it it gave you chills. See, see, you got, see, you got the, 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 the final product testing part. See that that's the part we didn't get to experience. And then too, we had a lot of elements that hit us like the thunder, like when we were, we were at yeah. Tampa, it was like, we were in an open stadium. It was a, 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 a thunderstorm going on during the time too. So a lot of people kind of were like a little bit over it too and stuff like that, just because it was like, yo, like we just, we don't know what's going on. But again, to that energy was still there just to see like, Hey, to know, like they know what they're doing now. And now it's just to not only see that it's back, but even to say, that like yo somehow i don't know why i, I and, and i was just like i maybe it was just because of the pandemic but storyline just stepped the f up in yep. raw and, and like yo like this i have got to say like we're now about to move into of course talking about money in the bank and i gotta say bro money in the bank almost felt like one of the big three the SummerSlam, yeah. Survivor, Re uh, Royal Rumble, and WrestleMania, so the big four. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. it felt like that type of caliber watching Money in the Bank yeah. this year. Everything felt like 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 big money fight. Everything on the card uh. to me. Even even the tag match with uh, AJ Almont, I was entertained. I was. I was. I, 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 I was um, entertained. I, I was, was a little offended that... Um, Usos and them uh, tag match against uh, Dominic Mysterio and his son uh, for the SmackDown titles was on the pre-show. Pre -show. Yeah, um, I think. And get that. I do. Yeah, yeah, I do think that's partly partially punishment for uh for for for, for that DUI though because uh, like yeah. like because I feel because I cause I feel like WWE because they said a lot of higher ups are disappointed in them and I do think they are going to try like get their point across as much as they can over with him though because I mean I, I do hope he gets help though but like. I mean, 
a lot of, and I know uh, it's it's a little it's, it's still some heat on him because a lot of the comments about his because you know they read those comments online. Yeah. A lot of them were about the DUI. You know, people yeah. were like, "Happy you won, no, but DUI." And a lot of it was about that though. So, I think that pre-show was kind of you know, you know, let them know. Hey. And then too, yeah. you can also tell too. Um, one, one, um, and, and two, two more elements of that was one the promo that was cut after they won. You can kind of yeah. tell of that that disappointment in in him when you can kind of see it in Roman. Like, there's a difference between like that tribal chief thing, like, yo, like, hey, this is the character, mm-hmm. as opposed to, like, yo, this is Joe looking at you like, yo, yeah. you good? You here tonight? Yeah. Are you here yeah. tonight? Because especially when yeah. you saw me, like, and he looked at him, like, not the whole, like, when he's supposed to acknowledge him and stuff like that, and he was like, yeah, 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 you chief was like, yo, bro, you here or, you, or not, bro? What up? Yeah. Like, that's and what was, you can feel. Yeah. And then, two, them not coming out with him during the match with Edge. Yeah. That was the other thing because I was just like, yo, the whole bloodline being complete, I would think here all three of y'all would come out and stuff. But as you said, like because of that, I think they are slapping yeah. that on the wrist and bringing that down. But they did, man, they did win the tag team titles. Um, yeah, Ray Mysterio and Dominic. Uh, yeah. I wasn't mad, With, I wasn't and, mad at yeah. it. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. I wasn't mad it either. Does. I was actually, you know, I, I want them to win it. Like, that's the thing yeah. I want because they, they, for storyline purpose and all that, they need to win it. Yeah, and honestly, I just. For me, I just hate that before, uh, before, uh, before they became tag champs, I really would have loved to see Jay Uso get a run with that IC belt. To me, because I yeah. felt like for 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 a good bit he was he was establishing himself as a single star main while Jimmy was out. Yeah, main, main event Jay. Jay. I I really felt like they could have gave him like a good four week run. You know, have him like have, have him defend on each show against against um uh, you know Zayn Owens mm-hmm. and uh, have him defend against maybe uh, and maybe he could have dropped it to Big E. Something like that, you know. Well, no, I dropped it back to Apollo. Like again, yeah, yeah. He, oh, you he, know, yeah. he had got tossed into the mix like that, but then it was just like it was pulled back out again. So, like you said, I don't, I don't know if they didn't feel confident enough about that too. And then also too, there's also this big thing that I've noticed too, like with, when it comes to like those type of families and stuff like that, like they tend to know like the place with them sticking to that. Like again, like even like Roman's father, like they never broke up the Wild Samoans, like. They were yeah. the wild Samoans until they stopped being the wild Samoans. Like, you know, like it was never a split. So I haven't I haven't noticed that with really any of their family and stuff like that. Even like storyline wise, when they like may beef with one another. So like they, I've never seen a, a, a Samoan tag team break up, then go do like solo runs and stuff like that. When they're a tag team, they remained a tag team unless somebody. um I just completely like shitted on my own whole whole uh conversation. That's the good that's that's the good ganja, my friend. Yeah, that's I completely I, 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 I complete I completely forgot about Umaga and Rosie. I completely Ooh. forgot about them. Yeah. I forgot they were a tag team. They had a three-minute warning. Yeah. That's right. And then they broke him up. Rosie went did the hurricane run with uh yeah. that one, and then uh and then his brother became a wagger. And they both have passed away, huh? Both passed away, yeah. Because I know uh Rosie is kin to Roman. I forgot who Imaga exactly was in that. I think uh line. I think uh Umaga's their uncle and uh Rosie was uh, Roman's brother. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, then Umaga is his cousin, yeah. that's what it was. It was one of the because I yeah. remember Rosie. It was they because they kept bringing up Roman when he passed, and I was just like. And then when you start to think, I'm like, oh my god, yeah, y'all look just alike, like literally, yeah. like no. You go, you yeah, you, yeah, you go you back and watch it. that footage, like wow. Yeah, I'm what like, oh that? my god, that's a yeah. that's a heavy set Roman. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I was like, this is what happens when I was like, <laughs> and this is a no joke, but it's just like if you know Samoans, you know it's like, uh, those are two perfect examples if. You don't work out eight hours a day. Either this one or this one. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> this is why the Rock works out so much. He yeah. knows his genes that he got in them. You're like, I can't keep doing this. Yeah, because some more. You're gonna be big regardless. You're gonna oh, be yeah. big, but just what kind of big you gonna be? That's it. That's all it is. So, but yeah, man. I don't think. Um, yeah. No, I don't think I've met. I, I, I don't think I've met a Simone that was under six three. I don't think I have. 
I don't know if I have. Have you? I I have. I've met one. Shout out to my boy, my boy, uh, Roy Liaga. D- definitely the the uh, I would call him the runt of the bunch because I'm like, well, no, I'll say about six. He ain't six three, but he's like six foot, but he's like this small. It's like yeah, this this time, like how. Wow. Yeah, but he's young too. Yeah, but he's young too. So I'm, 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 yeah. I'll be curious to see what he's like when he's my age. It's like, oh, the Samoan yeah. just hadn't woke up yet. That's what it was. Nah. Like. <laughs> Got you. Now you, 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 you full Samoan now. You full Samoan now. But, <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, I, I didn't mind them. Uh, when Usos winning the SmackDown tag team titles, uh, just for the simple fact that um, I'm hoping to see now more of a Dominic Mysterio solo push rather than the whole father son tag team thing. Like, I, I'm glad to have seen it. Um, that was very dope and stuff like that. Like I said, especially like Ray deserves it, Dominic deserves it, and Dominic has definitely proved time and time again now that he is ready to go take them shots. Go do that but still have Mysterio like you know there you know, it could be from a manager standpoint or uh, stuff like that or if they do want to go in the separate type of competition they can but I do look forward to seeing them split to do things more for single competitors as that's what we kind of need and stuff um, I do then, definitely agree um, I, I, I do know um they said behind the scenes that they've um that they applied for the patent of Prince Mysterio so I don't know what they're going I don't know if that's something they're going to go forward in the future though but that is something that they recently patented in the past year or two was the name Prince Mysterio. So we'll see. I don't know. That could be, you know. I, know. I mean, I can, I can see it because it's still, I, and I noticed that he has been playing with masks lately and stuff like that, trying to see uh, how he may want to go about that too. So, you know, like you said, you, you never know. And then two King of the Ring is coming up. So it's just like, hey, you know, you Ooh. never know. Wait, but yeah, so we don't, we don't know Ooh. what may happen. Uh, but outside of that, uh, it was a uh, that match was great, and like I said, could have been definitely on the main card. But as we know, uh, for uh, some reason out, outside of that, may have uh, led to why it was on the pre show. But Money in the Bank kicked off with the women's ladder match, uh, yeah. Money in the Bank. <laughs> and uh, before, be- first of all, <laughs> before we even get started into this. I don't care what nobody says. Um, Alexa Bliss is definitely now teetering on. I want you to stop this character, but I want you to keep going. Yeah. Let me tell you something. That spot with her and Lena Vega. Hmm. I was like, I, I, I can't look away. I thought I was going to hate that. And I was like, I'm not hating this. And then, like, listening to the crowd, too, it was kind of like, I don't think the crowd knew how to react. That was what that it was, pro- too. They was just like, I was like, yo, did she also kind of get the crowd into it a little bit? Like, because they yeah. kind of, like, all got quiet. Like, it wasn't no booze, and it wasn't no, like, everybody just kind of was like, everyone they was just, started. They were shocked. They was like, yeah. Hey, it, I think because, I think because, like, Selena's so good, too. It looked perfect. And the turn, the hand, the coming yeah. down, it was just like, but then the fact of her standing on the rope for all yeah. of their interests, I was like, yo, mm-hmm. I want you to keep doing this. I want yes, to see where like, you go with this. Yeah, it's like, I think it's like, yeah, because it, it's, it, it's it's like, I want, it's almost like, I, I I want her to like, like, yo, this is the Fiends thing though, but I, I don't, yeah. Man. And that's that's it. We're, we're in. We are in. No. A, we're in the middle of it right now. So it's like we nah. don't know where she's going with it. We don't know how <laughs> she's working it. But it's like you still got us hooked. Um, yeah. And people are playing along with it. But uh, overall, great match. Um, between before between all the ladies and stuff like that. Great spots. Um, between everybody that participated. For those that don't know, it was um, uh, of course it was Alexa Bliss. It was the uh, tag women's tag team champions involved, Natalia and uh, Tamina. Uh, no offense to them, don't know why they were in it. Um, think they could have. Yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, I would have thought this would have been a wonderful opportunity to include some NXT superstars into the Money in the Bank ladder match. I was like, hey, also, hey, I, what about what about Shotzi and Tegan going after those tag titles at Money in the Bank? Didn't they beat them on SmackDown a couple of weeks back? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, um, why? I think couldn't... they're in the back. I think. I think, I think so. Like, hey, we could have they... took. We could have put. <laughs> hey, maybe Eo Shirai and I don't know, maybe Amber Moon in the Money in the Bank ladder match, since we know how crazy they can get with ladders. And like y'all said, Money in the Bank can be used on any title that the yeah. holder sees fit. Yeah, and it's also I'm kind of like so. Hey, um. I think, hey, is Ember's back there, right? Yeah, she's back there. EO, yeah, she's back there. Look, I think she's we're, there. And we're, we're in Fort Worth. Isn't she from Dallas? Man, the pop would be amazing. Pop would hey. be amazing if they heard her music play. Hey. But, but hey, you know, but like catering just put out that new spread, though. So, I mean, we need, you know I mean, so hey, that, man, that, that, no, never mind. You know, never mind. We just her, catering just came out the new pool. So, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're good. We're good. We'll, we'll be out there. Fam. Fam. Why? As so I just Why? Like, as soon, hey, I saw those two and I was just like I didn't understand it. But just just also the other three were in there. Of course, were uh, Naomi, uh, Liv Morgan, and Zelina Vega, as uh, Chinadu had mentioned. Um, as I said, all of them had very great spots. All of them uh, got a great did have a great opportunity to showcase everyone's talent and also get a kind of glimpse of where everybody is crowd wise. Now it was good to see everybody behind people. I loved. And again, and I just got to applaud Texas once again, not just because yeah. that's the home state, but just because they did their responsibility on SmackDown, on Money in the yeah. Bank and in Raw to give the energy they needed to these performers and to the show to let people yeah. know we are back. And I just loved it when you saw Liv climb, when you saw Selena climb, when you saw Alexa climb, everybody was, you could see it just even from yeah. the heels. It was like, even when to me, it's like, boo, you know, it's just like, Yes, we need and it's like you can tell where they are. Like I would love to see Zelina versus Liv. I want to see that feud now. Like I let that be yeah. a singles competition now going on on SmackDown. I want to see that happen because both of them did such a great job. Yes, and I and honestly and like the crowd was the crowd was really behind Liv. Yeah, they they were they, they were going too. up for it to win that. They I was, was going too. up for it because because I, I feel like at this point too, like she is. In terms of like what I feel like what Vince would want and what terms of like what they're looking for, like I know they're trying to they're trying to build new stars now. Liv Morgan's what 25, 26 years old. Mm -hmm. She's been in the system. You've had her in groups. This is the time. Like the crowd, like when I tell you, like the, the you deserve it chant at Toyota Center was real. Like they yeah. had to like they had to like kind of deafen that down, but the like she had to stop her promo yeah. because we were that loud. The you deserve it though. And I was like, give it to her. I mean. Nothing against Nikki at all. Nikki is a great talent. She got she got an amazing shake this past year. Like she got like yeah. super like yeah. super fit. But it's it like like I ain't like a part of me was like I really I I thought they're gonna give it to Lynn. That was my prediction. But you know I'm not mad Nikki got it though. But you know but you know, I, I hate I was I hate my prediction was wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I was too also rooting for Liv uh, because one, as as we just mentioned, like uh, Nikki, I'm almost a superhero. The new character that she's done mm -hmm. uh, was now is now Miss Money in the Bank. Uh, well, is mm -hmm. formerly Miss Money in the Bank. We'll get to that in just a little bit. Um, yeah. Here on the Raw recap, uh, she was the one that uh, ended up be, uh, taking the briefcase and stuff like that. And as I mentioned, the Chinadu, you know, uh, before hopping on here. You, you at least had three people in there that deserve to win. And at least yeah. in the three, one of them did. And that is also including Nikki Cross. I'm still going to call her uh, Nikki Cross. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to call her almost a superhero. I'm sorry. Uh, but Nikki Cross, <laughs> Nikki Cross definitely deserved it from being kind of, you know, like, the uh, dropping the ball with her when she was uh, on the run for the NXT women's title and stuff like that. And then kind of like losing that steam, having her lose that steam when she came to raw and it was just like, yo, you have this wild card that you're not really utilizing properly. And so it's just like, yo, for her to continuously consistently be a team player, hell, even to, you know, like her husband, like uh, is no longer there. Uh, what's his face. Um, um from Sandy, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, Killian uh, Dane, Killian Dane, you know, but, Killian Dane. but to still be there, you know, doing the thing, doing the repetition, still going through, it was like, yo, she does deserve it. She's still not a fan of the costume. I'm just like, yeah, I don't, I don't like it, but I get where y'all are about to go with it. I get what you're about to try to do perhaps, but like I said, we're going to, we're going to get into it. We're going to, we're going to talk about it. Oh, I see you. I see you. Yeah, gotta cover that stain. I was like, I'm trying to get it off. But 
Time with that. Like, you know, but yeah, but 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 honestly, well, man, I I I agree with you one hundred percent, man. Firstly, the cost I I just can't get the costume, man. I just can't. Mm-hmm. I I can't like I I this the hurricane's costume. I was like it does like I. This is the whole superhero thing is that like I feel there's a whole universe for that, and that's where I, I go for that too. So, but like I understand why she made it. I'm happy she's over, like you said too. But I really felt I felt like with the briefcase. They just hot shotted it real quick. It was like, and I mean, and maybe that was a plan all along, but I really thought in terms of like long term storytelling, you have live crowds, you want stories you can invest in. Like, I really felt like her winning that briefcase could have been a good storyline to like maybe a slow descent into maybe turning into a villain. You know, maybe turning into a villain. Like, like you know, it'll drive like it drives her crazy in terms of like, hey, because like you're a superhero though, but is it right to cash in on someone when they're their weakest? Isn't that kicking someone when they're down? Mm-hmm. Is that right or wrong? And like Nikki Cross would be like, let's do it. But Nikki Ash should be like that. Like, I felt like they could have done something with that, but like they just jumped it. Like, same thing with Bailey. Like, I thought they were going to do something long term with Bailey, though. And I'm not mad that they didn't, but yeah. it's like so far out of all the winners, the only person that's held on to it for a long time was Carmella. And I feel like that's yeah, it yeah. today. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. But That's I think, it, so. but I, but but I think too, if we think about Branch and storyline wise, if, if we're just being honest, there's nowhere to put her in cashing that. So to be honest, this was probably the best time for that to happen to her. Because let's be honest, like they're gonna happen to where Charlotte's gonna get that rematch and stuff like that. And two things are happening: either Charlotte's gonna win very quickly, or Rhea Ripley's gonna interrupt it, and that's how she's gonna retain the title and continue to have those kind of pushes. Because that's what we've been seeing her get for the last like maybe what three weeks ever since she's introduced this character. It hasn't really been a solid yeah. like yo, I pinned you. It's been because of an accident. And so it's just like, it sucks that that may be what her first title reign is going to be, unless it's mm-hmm. like you're deciding that you're going to do the promo thing or this is just me. This is just me. This is just me. I don't know why, but I just keep going back to it. Like you say, she goes, I don't think it was fair. I did that. So I'm going to issue an open challenge to anybody. Here comes Alexa Bliss, hypnotizes her to lay down, and she pins her and becomes the War Women's Champion. Wow, that could that that can work because there's the history there too. And honestly, and people have been asking about so where's the update with that? Are they not? Is it done? Yeah, that's and, what I kept. I was like, yo, yeah, there's like so the, much that <laughs> work the, right there. I'm like. Yo, like I'm like, yo, because you like you even said though, going back to the villain thing, like imagine that's what she turned it into. She was like, like, imagine that, that Lexus playhouse, and it's like, you know what? I actually kind of enjoy the little superhero thing that she's doing, but I'm wanting to make a few minor tweaks. And then she comes out as this new fucking villain and stuff that oh. she still got all of the stuff on, but it's just like altered to where how yeah. now it match Alexa, and it's like yeah. That could, that and looking and like that's literally that can be weeks to no, that can be a months of storytelling right there. And then the dope Good thing about it, and the dope thing about it, they can go with the tag team championship run again because why they were a tag team at yeah. one time, so it makes sense. Can I can I point out something real quick? I did not know this. Did you know apparently they were called Chris Bliss Cross Applesauce? Yes. Apparently yes. that that was the. Yes, Bliss Cross Applesauce. Yes, I do know that. I am aware of that. That's actually their, wow. their, their handshake, too, that they have. And you know what was the fucked up part about it was that wow. originally that's how it was supposed it was supposed to be Alexa was going to start adapting to like how her style was. And so both of them were going to start kind of wearing like what, what uh Nikki wore. And then hence yeah. that's what kind of start droving her to break. And stuff, but then again, they started normalizing Nikki and stuff like that and made her kind of get with Alexa on that one with the whole cup and everything, just kind of being your own self. You know, you kind of weird, but you're just being your own self. And it was like, okay, I get it. But it's like, it's still, it's still something there. And I'm just like, we will see. We're going to see what's yeah. going on. But we got, but because, we, you know, yeah. Because I do feel, because there's definitely still time to tell that story. It is. They can still do it. They can still do it. But WWE, will they? But like you said, but honestly, I have a feeling that first option you said, but they're going to put it right back on Charlotte. 
it could because the thing is it's like i know that they're, they're trying to get her to 16 and she's at yeah. 14 now so i know they're trying to get her to 16 but it's just like bro like charlotte's not even in her prime prime yet like she's yeah. probably at like 11 a.m right now so it's like yo like i get it so but it's just like yo like give someone else these chances to run these stories like i get it like yo give charlotte give oscar give sasha give becky a break these people yeah. have carried this for what the last eight years almost it feels like yes. like it's okay we you like have these other, other people, people. We like her. Yeah. We like, we love Naomi. We like Nikki's crazy ass when she was running around. We love seeing her in the match. When she, the match she had with Shayna Baszler for the NXT Women's Championship, loved it because you thought she was going to win. You really was yeah. just like, yo, I think she's going to get in the only, and the only reason she didn't, she got put to sleep. She wasn't even pinned. She got yeah. put to sleep. So yeah. we don't even know if she can be legitimately beaten from yeah. four title. <laughs> Oscar and Ember Moon, those two, I feel like those are the ones where I feel like people should be chanting fight forever when those two are in the ring. Because that's one of them storylines, like much like a Jeff Hardy versus RVD, one of them amazing classics that just seemed like went under the radar for a lot of people. But that is yeah. a classic. That's a classic NXT rivalry, guys. Ember Moon and Oscar at, is at a classic one. And money in the bank. And standing in the ring by themselves together in Fort Worth, Texas, bro. Shot for shot, hip bumps for hip bumps, yeah. and then and then Naomi popping the ring. Yeah. Now all three of them going at it. I'm like, yes. bro, like there's there's so much right there for the women's thing, and it's just like to be honest though, I think they hearing us. If I'm just being honest yeah. with you, and we are gonna talk about that because yeah. I don't know who's listening, but y'all y'all are doing it. And I know y'all listening because yeah. I didn't see you bump up that women's tag team division after we started talking yeah. a lot of noise. I've mm -hmm. been seeing you bump that up. We're going to get into uh, the more, more stuff going on in Money in the Bank. But uh, we do got to keep it pushing, of course, because we like I said, we got a lot to talk about. Uh, we had the Raw Tag Team Championship match up for grabs. Um, uh it was a good match. Like you said, it was it wasn't nothing to go like it, match, I kind of yeah. it was it was one of those to kind of Get us a little bit, you know, yeah. uh, you know, cleanse the palate, you know. Yeah, it was it was ginger. If you, if you eat sushi yeah. and stuff like that, it was ginger, you know. Ref, like you said, refresh the palate and yeah. stuff like that. Um, not a bad win. Both of them early, like uh, of course, uh, AJ Styles and almost uh, retained the titles. Very uh, hard victory. Did not make the uh, War Raiders look bad. Sorry, we're not recognizing that's the Viking Raiders. I'm just not. Gonna I don't. Do I, I don't blame you. I don't. They don't. They don't want to be recognized as the Viking I'm like, Raiders. Okay. I'm, not gonna do, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just. I was sorry. almost like in my head. I was like, can you guys call them the Raw Raiders? But I was like, is that is that is that too sexual to sound or something like that? I was like, but you know, what like I mean, War Raiders. Yeah. Yeah. I I, Maybe. I I get it. I get it though because yeah. I also get war the standpoint of war. So I also yeah. understand Brandon Wise yeah. too of what they're trying to do. But yes, the War Raiders uh, yeah. did not go out looking horrible in this tag team match. If, if anything, it did give them keep their credibility, but also made AJ Styles and almost a little bit more solidified. And then also too bumped up uh, almost uh, for his when it, whenever he decides to get a single run because picking up three hundred. 70 pounds. Yeah. And gorilla pressing that? Wow. Sir. Mm -hmm. Sir. So shout out to him. Keep doing your thing. Uh stay healthy. Keep getting better. Uh but yeah, yes, they, please uh, stay know. healthy. We we need y'all on the roster because they can go. They can. They can, they can, go. They can go. So that was a that was a great match. Go. No, no, no disrespect to them. What like I said, wasn't like no greatest of all time match, but did what it needed to do. Um WWE championship was up for grabs. Uh um uh, uh, so uh if we are we we so let's talk about it. Let's talk Ooh. about it. Now um Ooh. you know I'm not I'm not one to be that guy trying to do. But now I'm I'm gonna just ask because you know like you like you say I I I, I partake in the ganja so sometimes you know my my memory can escape me a little bit until I'm reminded. Um, wasn't there wasn't there two people that were saying like yo Bobby need to get rid of the the, the whole women thing like yo don't mess up his first reign with this stuff like yo get back to that hurt type of stuff so you can really solidify what you trying to do. But I could have swore. 
Did what? I think it was. I think it was us. Wasn't it us? I could have sworn it was us. I think. I think if, if we. I think if we rewind the episodes, you'll see us saying that they need to drop that BS because Bobby Lashley needs to be a killer, and unstoppable, and run through all his opponents like it's nothing. And would you know it? Last week on <laughs> Raw, that is exactly what happened. So, you know, now all I can say is WWE also stands for, when it comes to kayfabe, we write everything. Because that's what the hell we are noticing. Y'all are now <laughs> taking foot of since we didn't said it. Because Bobby Lashley, whoo! I mean, he kicked the ish out of Kofi Kingston. Boy, Listen. I really thought it was going to be like a Daniel Bryan, Brock Lesnar, where he'll make a flurry for maybe a, a quick two. No. No. Mm-mm. Like, early. That man, that man packed him up like a field trip lunch and sent Boy. him on his way. Like, I sir. Mean. Bro, like, that was that was like watching Brock on display. But scarier. Yeah. Like I really yeah. was just like, coffee, you you may want to get out of here. Yeah. You may want to leave. Yeah, I was like, just like, dude, like somebody called I was like, somebody called Big E out, man, to come help do like something, bro. I, stop, was, like, I, was, I for real, like this ain't no like trying to bump him, like, like yo, on the real, like people really do tend to forget, like, yo, Bobby was in the military. Bobby is a trained fighting machine. Like, everybody be trying to give this fear to Brock Lesnar, like, yo, the beast, the UFC champ. And I keep telling y'all, bro, Bobby will beat the brakes off of Brock in two seconds if that, sh- if that turned real. I was Cause, like, cause it, 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 yeah. Because because if, if I'm not mistaken, first of all, isn't Bobby's, isn't, isn't Bobby's uh, uh, record better than Brock's? Perhaps I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. I don't want. I, I don't want to yeah. say yeah, I but I, somebody, I somebody, so. let us know in the comment section to verify for us. So, but yes. if I'm not mistaken, if I am, I apologize. But if I'm not mistaken, I think, uh, I think Leslie's, uh, is he the uh, Matador? I think his, I think mm-hmm. his uh, Matador career is better uh, than, than Brock's UFC record. I think, I think, but be. it could be second though. But, but regardless, like he said though, because like look, at Lashley's was 45 years old, in the best shape you've ever seen a man. He looks, he's, he looks like it's like he hasn't aged a day at all. At this guy debuted. He debuted 15 years ago, y'all. And looked like he literally only been there two years. Like that. <laughs> that's it. And just like the power, the strength. Like, and again, too, like you can even see it on the this dude is holding back. Like, yeah. again, too, what was funny about it was I don't know if it was a kind of a shot at Brock, but it was like, yo, this is a very Brockish like match of what I'm feeling, but also too, what I'm feeling is like. I can tell you're holding back. Like mm-hmm. even with what you do with Coffin, I'm like I know this is not as much as you can do. Because one, like one thing I've noticed about Bobby that he doesn't do, Bobby does not use strikes. Bobby doesn't use strikes. Bobby doesn't use a lot of holds and stuff like that. Bobby really is like when he when uh, for what he's been doing is more of the manhandle kind of toss and throw using you know like the spear and stuff. But you've not seen Bobby like throw hands. Like I've never seen him who. You know, like when they do the yeah. back and forth, I've never seen that. And and again, mm-hmm. as I have been saying, I mm-hmm. and which now shows even more reason of why. Yeah. And which has led me more to go after seeing that display is Brock next. But honestly, yeah, is Brock next? But we also uh, had a question of someone um, who else may be next. But we're going to get into that a little bit later into this podcast. We're going to keep things rolling. Bobby did uh, 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 obtain and, and remain the almighty WWE champion by uh, basically Ooh. tapping coffee out. Um, yeah. And just playing his dominance. Field and, yeah. and letting you know and the field hurt. And, yeah. hurt. Yes. business is back. And they peeled coffee off that ring. That was a complete squash. Like, Lord, I... Like we we shouldn't see Kofi for a bit. I feel to yeah. sell it. We shouldn't yeah. see him for a couple of weeks. I feel to continue to sell it, sell the beat downs. The last is I I I love Kofi, but I, I I'm glad this happened. I'm happy that mm-hmm. Lashley ran through him because we need to continue to build him as the monster, as unstoppable. 
mm-hmm. until you like, like we said, until we feel like so the inevitable Brock confrontation comes. We want to mm-hmm. continue, continue to build them up, but like I said too, but we we got more of the crowd. What, what, what was that next match? I can't remember. What was the match after that? Oh man, the match after that was of course the Raw Women's Championship was up for grabs. Charlotte versus Ooh. Rhea Ripley. That man. was a good man. Charlotte with the flip man. Bro, so and, and, yo, so for those that don't know, uh, there was a very explicit moment with Charlotte, which makes us think about some things that may be coming down the pipeline. Um, uh, Texas was definitely hitting them with the chance we want Becky. Uh, was starting to ring out through it. You know, we, we're used to hearing like random things, you know, like CM Punk and some other things and stuff like that. But for some reason, this very much offended Charlotte. She wound up telling the uh, crowd to suck it, flipping them the bird before the yeah. beginning of the match even started. Just kind of yeah. like ha- showing Charlotte in just full flare mode, just yeah. in it. Like, you know, like I'm not, I'm this is me. Um, and then you know, hey, um. Doing doing what Charlotte does best and becoming a 14-time women's champion by defeating Rhea Ripley with the figure eight. Man, and, you know, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I, I thought I thought Rhea was gonna do it. I thought Rhea was <laughs> gonna do it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought I thought Rhea, I thought it would it was that time. Um but Ah, sorry. When I saw her do the build the bridge, I was like, "Oh, this is really about to happen." And you know what was funny about it too? At first, I kind of got a little upset. I'm gonna be honest with you. I got a little upset because uh, Chandu, I was like, "Come on!" Because at first, I, I looked at it from a completely selfish standpoint of like, "Come on, man! Like, you really not gonna let nobody go over? Like, really? Like, this what you're doing now, Charlotte?" But then I gave it thought. I gave it some thought. I said, let me not do, let me not do that first. I said, because here's the thing. This would have been too soon for Rhea to do it. And then if she would have done it, then what would have been next? And I was like, you know what? This is perfect because you came on Raw. You did it at a time. And you also proved, though, you do know how to hang with the big girls. You do. You show that you do belong here. Now build this. Put this on your back, Rhea. Put it fully on your back and run with it without it having to be just on the title. Show what you can do when the title's not there like you did in NXT. So I can't wait for that. Uh, but, you know, like I said, it, it, it was kind of controversial for me. But she, hey, when the queen wants it, the queen proves she going to get it. They put on a barn burner despite terrible booking. And this is why I say we need to put, we need to put more of this in the hands of, of the wrestler because these two ladies with horrible booking and horrible build, horrible, horrible build, they put on probably one, probably, probably arguably like match of the night for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Like that whole crowd, they went from chanting "We want Becky" to "This is awesome." Yes. I, by the end of that match, that I think, and if I'm not mistaken, that match, I think that match got an ovation. If I, if, if, if I'm not mistaken, no, like, it that, did. like that it part, did. No, like it, that, it, yeah. They nice. killed like I have never seen Charlotte hit a higher bridge on that figure eight. I was like, Jesus Christ, like, like I was really like, yo, like if this if this if, if this is legit in, Rhea's gonna break her leg if she don't like tap like stop hurry up and tap. Because I was like, this can't be a sell. That has to Jesus. Mm. All right. You could t- you could that. tell, yeah. You could tell yeah. and you could kind of tell too, like it was one of those like. Okay, I gotta end this. We gotta end this, and you and that and that was the respect that I see. Like that's why I feel like how you said like, they got that standing ovation because f- she you she went complete flair, dirtiest player in the game. Okay, bet watch here we go, and this time I'm gonna take you out. And that's yep. exactly what she that's exactly what she did. Natural selection didn't work. Anything didn't work, and I was just like, yo, like you said, it was a terrible build to it, which is why I'm kind of glad that uh. Oh shit. I'm just thinking about sitting in the room when someone thought about these promos and thought it was gonna be hot. Shit. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> Man, my fault. Cause somebody thought that 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 promo run they had set up for them was gonna be fire and it wasn't. So just ooh, excuse me for yawning. Um, but like you said, man, nonetheless, put on a great show. 
Um, I look forward. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to uh, Flair and R- Ripley three, wherever it may be. Uh, I, I do look forward to that, and so and just yeah, to, to uh, see Rhea keep doing her thing. Hell, maybe even go to SmackDown. You know what I'm saying, and and see what she can do there. So, um, shout out to them. Shout out to Charlotte for a uh, 14 time championship. Again, you know, anytime she adds it, I'm, you're never disappointed. That's the one thing we can always say. She's never had a disappointing championship reign, and more power to her. But moving yep. on to the second Money in the Bank ladder match, another great one with another great list of folks who uh, w- wasn't mad at this lineup either. Again, shout to- Peacock. Yep. Shout out. Shout out to the to the cock. Shout out to the cock for royally fucking up the first ten royally. minutes of the match. Royally, if if, if the country. Not, if not argumentably, some of like the best intros you got right now in WWE, and we missed all of them, all the pops, all everything. Beginning yep. of the match, everything. So, thank you, ABC. Thank you, thank yep. you so much, NBC, for that. Peacock, but nonetheless, like, it, it, it's like it's like I know they'll get it. I know they'll go get it together eventually. But it's like this makes me miss the network because people over in the UK they said they watched it just fine. Just Until, you know, fine. the because the network only the network still exists everywhere else except for here. Yep. So it's it. like. I mean, I'm like, so. wow. Because I asked my homegirl, she was like, no, I'm watching it. She was like, because she was, she had texted me, she was like, I didn't like Ovo with the guitar, but I like him now. I was like, yeah. oh, thank you for rubbing it Hey, in. what? Yeah, it's like, like, like Luke, Luke and Ali over the, over that wrestle talk, they watched it just fine. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, wow. What? Okay. <laughs> what? Well, okay, maybe, hey, us. May, may, maybe the cock will get it right. And um and, yeah. and the and the cock will su- supply us with premium quality content moving forward. But nonetheless, though, um, the cock needs to strap up to get it together. Yes, to do. Cock needs to strap up and make sure the protection is always swift when it comes to delivering and not dropping the ball because that's not what the cock's supposed to be doing. But there were um, there th- this one again. I would I wouldn't have mind seeing at least two NXT stars in this one. But of course, uh, I was not mad at all the competitors that were in this one, which was uh, Kevin Owens, uh, I believe um, Shinsuke Nakamura, Big E, and then for Raw you had uh, Ricochet, John Morrison, and then Drew McIntyre uh, into this match. Uh, Johnny Drip Drip. Johnny Drip Drip. And again, too, another, another just, again, classic example of everybody, um, the crowd itself being there, just being back in front of a live audience. We got to see everybody get their shine on, everyone get a chance. Ricochet with the most amazing pops that you can always have. So glad to see him back on Raw, not in main event hell like they had him yeah. in, and just being able Ooh. to actually do things. like thank, He put thank on you. a show, man, like Bro. Ricochet. Riddle, man. too. Riddle as well. Yeah. Riddle was not bad yeah. either. It was a bad. I you know uh, I, I honestly I thought I would have seen more from Riddle in the match though he he still did good though but I thought I would have seen more like compared like to Ricochet Ricochet did like some shows and spots in here that I felt like really like they like er, er, I felt everybody got over it in, in the match like when Riddle hit that RKO yeah. bro I was like it, I wasn't it mad. You know, like yeah I wasn't mad I was like okay. I'm not mad at this, but then too also like, we do we yeah. do got to keep in mind he doesn't wear shoes, so yeah, that also is gonna kind of make it a little bit more difficult for him to do the things. The ladder spots on that, do. yeah, because he might slip. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's slip, true. Trying to jump somewhere and that ladder may fe- fall on his feet or something like that. So it's just like I understand him not having as many spots. Good point. Um, I do, however, like a John Morris and Ricochet feud. I do. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be mad over, over perhaps over the U.S. title. I wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't either. Um, I would. I wouldn't uh, or, or King of the Ring. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't hate it. I would, I would not, not hate, hate it. it. I would not so, hate it. So, um, I, I hope to uh see them boost a little bit more when it comes to being on Raw and stuff like that, or if they get traded because we know the draft is coming soon. So, yeah, because um, Miz is injured. More and more, something to do right now. Right. And the, and again, I love the assistance of it too. But it's like, yo, know, Sean. Like, I, I think people tend to forget that John Morrison really is like that guy. And it's like, yeah. I think they need to be reminded of like, 
the guy that won the impact championship and why he was at the top of the the food chain there for so long. Yeah. It's like, they need to see that here. Um, but yeah. something we also did need to see and that we got through that match, um, along with Seth Rollins, I forgot Seth Rollins was in this as well. Um, oh yeah, he was, that's right. It was, I mean, I mean, not nothing, nothing, not, nothing against him at all though, but like, like he, but like he, he did his thing too though. But like, I, I felt like the other guys, they, 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 they held their own too. Very yeah. much so. Yeah, this was well, this was evenly proportioned um, as far as everybody getting their spots. Um, hope hope Kevin Owens is okay after going through that ladder the way he did. Um, man, like that hurt. That like did, that hurt. He definitely uh, did not fall right. Um, yeah. And stuff like that. So um, definitely hope that he is okay because his head did kind of go through the rings and pop out. And so, yeah. hey, Seth, so, hey, Seth, can you stop injuring people, bro? Like, didn't you do that to Sting? Something like that. You did the buckle bomb. I'm gonna yeah, that yeah. guy's career. Can you I, chill I, out? I'm, 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 I'm. Well, no, no, I'm per- I'm perfectly in starting to understand. Uh, uh, Seth, do that to people you can actually pick up. Rey Mysterio, great when you do it. Small cruiserweights when you do it, yes. We have people who's like two hundred and something pounds that you have to mm-hmm. launch, mm-hmm. sir, sir, because you for dang show did not get Kevin yeah. Owens up enough. Man, I hope he's okay. I hope he's okay, man. No, no, he said like, like again. I watched him. Most of the stuff he mainly fell like on his shoulders where you're supposed to fall. But for those that don't like know, in, in those things where you want to try to fall, it's the main part of your shoulder and kind of like in the upper of your back. So when you fall, it breaks through. But unfortunately, he fell more at the top of his shoulders, so the rest of his body came with him. And so the thing is, like, when that's already coming, and then, of course, like, the rings in there, the rungs and stuff like that and ladders, your body will go through those things and stuff. So coming through, it pushed all of this in, and then his head did that as well. So that's why it's just like, but everything's happening so fast because the ladder's going down, too. So you don't even have really time prepared to brace yourself of how you're about to fall. Yeah. And so that's why you saw, like, when he fell like that, it didn't really kick in until then, because it was just like, I didn't even just process how I went through it. I just know now I'm, I, th- 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 this hurts. Man, Lord, I hope it's okay, though, man, because I'm, I'm, thinking, yeah. I'm thinking back. I'm trying to remember. Like, I don't know if they showed Kevin Owens after that spot, though, but, like, I do know after that mm-hmm. spot he was done in the match. No, like, he was done in the match. That was it. Like, that, 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 that was, was it. that was, that was, that was it. it. Nah, that was it. But I will say, too, in all of that, just the same thing with the women's match, all of these men that were in there deserving of being Mr. Money in the bank. Uh, But, of course, I always have my top three of who I think really deserve it. And one of those top three took it this time. Shout out to Big E, a.k.a. Mr. Big Money in the bank, taking it. Man, I could not have been more happier, man. Could barely get that little thing off there, boy. I was like, boy, you better yeah. hurry up. Oh, somebody hurry come up. up. I yeah. know you're excited. You better hurry yeah. up. But yes, bro, another another person I will say too, just as an honorable mention of holding it down during the uh, the during the Thunderdome era. Another person that was like, yo, hey, yep. Same thing of them throwing a new day concept at them. Same thing of him being thrown into a fish in the water of uh, going we're doing the solo run. And now for us to go like, hey, you know, um, again, not to be that guy, but um, who I, I, I distinctly remember two people talking about that man. Next person that should be in line is Big E because um, of. A lot of stuff we said about, uh, you know, Romans never pinned him. Romans never beat him. Um, Biggie used to beat Roman's ass up and down the shield run that he had. Um, so this would be the next best person to do this with. And somehow uh, Biggie sitting with that, that briefcase. It's so, very nice briefcase. Too, very nice so, briefcase. Uh, so, so just in case anybody ever wants to understand what kayfabe stands for when you see the acronym WWE, we write everything. So if it's good, it came from us. That's why we get the belts, okay? Yes. That's why we get the belts. But yes, man, shout out to Big E for winning Money in the Bank. Um, as you said, um, 
we've talked about them trying to like uh, actually make storylines when it comes to these briefcases and actually them developing and building a character around this and stuff like that. And I think this one is going to be one of those shining examples of us seeing that Mr. Money in the Bank, seeing him develop from being Mr. Money in the Bank, because for one, there's a lot of obstacles Big E still got to climb and stuff like that. And especially Mike wise, like one, I, I love him as a champion. Like, I don't want that to be yeah. taken away from him, but I know there also, there are a lot of ifs that come about with Big E, especially of, okay. Yes. I know you can be on the mic, but what happens when you're in the ring with Roman and he tells you you're a joke. And this is the reason why you've only been a champion. You, you, you ain't, you ain't big enough. You don't have what it takes to carry the show, which of course I am sure he has been hurt. He has been told that before and to go like, Hey, this is like, it, it will eventually be your time. One of these times, but just like even Cesaro having to wait 15 years to just get a title shot and then that go nowhere like that's over that's you had your shot now that's it same thing for coffee it's like there's a lot of stuff of hurdles he'll have to jump over i would hope that they try to at least pinpoint and show that hey yo i've overcome that i'm ready before allowing him to cash in yeah because i, I, agree. Do, I yeah. want him to sit i want him to sit at the top of the mountain i really do yeah me too and I feel like they they made the absolute right decision by putting on Biggie. He's he's who I wanted to win. I wanted him to win it last year. So I feel that like this is the the, the perfect person to win it. And what makes it so great too is that like what, what I like about Money in the Bank, I like the concept, and they haven't utilized it so much so in the past few years. That with Money in the Bank is one of those things you'll never see it coming. To quote SummerSlam 2020, like we could see Big E cashing in on. I could see him collide with Roman. I could also see him like colliding with with Lashley. Mm-hmm. I could see different ones, whatever. I don't want him to use an NXT, I, you know, because because he's already won that belt. But I, I can see him going to either brand and making something happen, though. So I feel like you said, like, continue to build him up. Those mic skills continue to make him more of a serious threat. Because like you said, you know, it's very entertaining. But like the the guy that I saw after the camera stopped rolling, that guy's that guy's world champion. That that guy's gonna be the the, the, the world champion because when I tell you the crowd was all for Big E. After the show ended, people were staying. People were rushing down to the front. They had pictures with Big E because he was there. And Green, like when I tell you it was I, he, I to feel like I feel so he's starting to make. I, I don't know I, now whether they'll make him a heel champion or a face champion. It's part of how Money in the Bank works, whatever. Because I could easily see one day Kofi rebounding somehow winning that belt and then Big E coming out and hitting that big ending on Kofi to win that belt. I, well, no, I think that. I- I think the more I think the more more thing that you said now that I think would per- particularly happen would be because he he's been a face this long so I don't see no reason for them having him do that especially when the heel thing didn't work as well when he was with like Dolph as the bodyguard and stuff like you that. remember that yeah yeah. I remember that. <laughs> yeah but then we but then what was messed up was we found out oh you're goofy this don't That's work funny. you silly. But we know you can be serious, not know like not to not take him serious. But it's like, yeah, we get your personality is goofy. And 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 if I'm just uh, what I would see happening based off how you said, if even going to Raw, that I would see him even going to do that to defend his brethren, to be like, oh, so you think you just going to manhandle them and I wasn't going to come say something? So yeah. bet. By the way, also, too, you're going to put that title on the line. I'm going to really show you who can be almighty. Says that's what you want to do, but if they really want to get some stuff going, had them get back together, had the hurt business get back together, summer, summer slam, hell in the cell, and, and then and then all of a sudden, Eva Marie come out and win all the belts because it's all red, everything, all red, everything, man, all oh. red, all red, everything. Do you hear me? All red, everything. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? All red, everything everything all red everything but um dang it but (laughs) but if i'm just but but if to just be completely honest though i think they built him and i know people are gonna probably look at me weird when i say this um but actually i'm not i'm finna say this biggie is what john cena has been mimicking for the last 15 years of his career. Mm-hmm. 
if what you made was a person, that's him. Every everything you strive to be and what you built your career off of, he naturally is. And that's why it's going to work as well. And he's already proven it by continuously staying in a tag team, being able to show that he can hold it on the singles run, but also to to keep all of that sense to break every stereotype, to break everything that you've thrown at him, to stay steadfast in what he's doing, to not drop the ball. And man, it's everything John Cena mimicked himself to be. You know that's, you know that's hard to that's hard to to uh, to, uh, to argue in terms, it's especially in terms of like character and all around things like that. Like because Biggie's food and stuff, all that big big with the fans, merchandise monster. Okay, mm-hmm. Biggie and New Day merch have like, I think they're still top three. It is top five. It is still. And, Still, and like, this, this is this is the better way to put it. I'm gonna cut you out. This is the better way to put it so people don't get offended. For John, that's a character you play. For E, that's who he is. That's yeah. why that's gonna work longer. When I see the John Cena thing, I get it, I understand it, but in no way do I believe when them cameras stop rolling, that's how you act. Yeah. In no way do I think that's how you act. I think you are a completely different person. I'm not saying that in a, in a, in a bad way or anything like that. But yeah. I see that as a character. I don't see yeah. you going to Trader Joe's dressed like that and going hustle loyalty and respect. I see Big E acting like that the way he acts and the way he carries himself on the camera, off the camera, in the ring, out the ring. I'll, I'll agree with you 100%. 100%. I 100% agree. I wholeheartedly believe that Etor and Big E are one and the same. I don't think John Cena and John Cena are the same person. Like, I, I, I don't think it is. And like you said, nothing bad against him at all, though. But like you said, I don't I don't believe he's coming out and all that. I, I, I don't think he, I don't think he's doing that, like, in real life. Mm-hmm. But E, I believe. I definitely believe it. Girl, yeah. And he has the size, the power, all that. I mean, he, oh, he even has the co-sign from John Cena. Yeah. Even John Cena's like, yo, he this guy's the man. So yeah. So it's just yeah. like I, I look forward to seeing God, bro. If you thought the coffee run was something, it's just like, bro, wait till you see Big E Mania. Yeah. <laughs> like be monstrous, man. bro, that's gonna be monstrous. That's why I'm just like. I, I know you, and, I, and that's why I said, just like, I hope they don't make him cash it in too quickly. But it's just like, yo, I Me really too. want to see him be built to show, like, yo, not, not to not only for us to know what we know that he is ready, but I want it to be known by the WWE universe and to those outside of it that the company is ready to be behind him too. And yeah, though, we also believe this is the person that can carry this belt, and because and, and especially and, and on SmackDown Live because that's the A show. That's that the is A the show. A. That's and the A show, and that and that is the one. If they say it, like, can anybody stop? Who could stop him? I'm like, that is the person that you would catapult into moving that. And, and again, it may not have been the first thought. Hell, it may not have been the second thought when the people in that room, because I'm sure already, man, like I, they didn't, they were going to go with my idea of uh, uh, um, Chenna doing stuff like that. You know, because mm-hmm. again, they've been taking our things. Like I said, would have really sold it out. Roman Reigns at SummerSlam versus Vin Diesel for family. For family. For family. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yo, I've not stopped that ever since. I keep doing it. And people Damn. just like you, like I thought you were being serious. Yeah, <laughs> hey. I really thought you were. I I, you had me going. That's why I was like, you know, okay. I did that on oh, I did that on Loki. My homeboy was telling me we gonna have a do. But my homeboy, we were talking about Loki, we we're talking about the end. I said, now nah, I gonna get nothing away on here. I was like, but what should have happened was this. They were talking, and all of a sudden you hear this noise, and you just hearing it, and it just sound like an engine start. All of a sudden you look outside and you see the timeline. It's a muscle car on the timeline, just driving on it. Then you zoom in, it's Vin Diesel. 
And you just tell him, he says, the family's timeline, and you don't break up the family. <laughs> Kang wouldn't have saw it coming. He's like, Kang, all that you gonna do? You got Vin Diesel on you now. <laughs> and he said for family. <laughs> and he's he doing means family. business. Well, I tell you, man, that has not stopped being funny to me yet at all. The, the, the Vin Diesel memes are hilarious. Hilarious. Hallmark, hilarious. you got to do a card. Hallmark needs to make a card. Like, yo, you have to. It just if sells they don't, itself. If they don't, they BSing, man. They BSing. But, 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 yo, shout out to Big E, though, for winning money in the bank because we do got to keep this thing pushing along because, you know, we'll be here all day talking about this stuff. But, yes, man, Big E on money in the bank. And then we're going to get into, of course, the final match, the Universal Champion Roman Reigns versus Edge. Finally, the one-on-one -on -one match that we were looking for. Edge looking for his redemption at trying to get the Universal Championship, which has, of course, always been upheld as the World Heavyweight Championship, you know, just unspokenly. Um, yeah. Great match. Was not mm -hmm. what, didn't, didn't expect anything less. Um, Roman, of course, still standing tall um, with yeah. everything. Uh, but Edge, I think Edge showed two things. One, of course, uh, how it ended, so we know he didn't really lose as much, you know, due to interference and stuff like that, due to Seth Rollins uh, interfering. So we're about to see that feud kind of move its way over to SummerSlam, which I'm, I'm excited for, but not uh, now that we know, you know, Seth's injury-prone ass. But, you know, the edge don't weigh that much. So, yeah. you know, maybe yeah. he can launch him into the buckle, but... Yeah, hey, be Seth, 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 please, got Like, Ed just got just got back from, from a bad case of neck. So please don't don't sting him, please. Or, Thanks. Or or we will Sid vicious you. Yes. Thanks. And Thank we won't you, Tyler. and we and we won't need a top rope. Believe yes. that. So. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Please. But yes, but um, due to that interference, that's what allowed Roman Reigns to remain as the universal champion. But Edge definitely did set the bar of these folks that do come back after a long time for folks that are just kind of like, man, bro, you need to just give it up, let it go. Him, along with Bobby Lashley, a few of these other people are, are, are proving that, you know, Oh, yeah. 40 and up is not the cutoff point. Like, yo, we can still go with you folks. We can still be here and we can prove stuff in the main event. And it wasn't disappointing at all. And it also showed uh, putting over Roman Reigns with being able to not only decimate his locker room, but also being able to go up against these stars. But the biggest thing that took place that night, and I'll be honest with you, normally I'm not excited about those. I'm just like, Okay, he's back. And again, don't no disrespect for those who didn't know, John Cena made his epic return last night into Money in the Bank because, of course, we do got SummerSlam coming down the pipeline uh, in August. It's going to be in Vegas, hosted by Cardi B. So, of course, John Cena had to make his way back. Once again, I like this one because it's not just a seat filler thing. It's not just to sell seats. Mm -hmm. That's what I like about it. That's why I will say this one is a lot different because we already know we got to take it back to 2017 when these two first cross paths and John was like, I know I have to hand the company over to you. So you really need to prove it to me. Mm -hmm. And he did. And now did. we're, and now we're here, but I just got to say to do And I don't know if you saw like I, how I saw it wasn't arrogance in, in, in Roman's eyes, and it wasn't fear either. You know what it was? You could what? see Roman Reigns understand you're still number two. Yes. That's what you saw in his eyes. Number one came back to the ring, yeah. and you are number two. Even that pop that John Cena got? Bro, Ooh. even your heel. And believe me, I will tell you, like, to me, Roman Reigns has been one of the best heels in probably the last eight years with his run and just everything that he's built with Paul Heyman, Usos, everything like that, that he, like I said, like we've said in on this podcast, he's Thanos when it comes to him. Yeah. But man, 
when John got in that ring, the, the way even John treated him while he was in that ring, didn't even acknowledge him, didn't like the whole, the whole thing. It's like, yo, it built something so like, like I'm like, yo, I, again, I, I don't really always get excited when the old heads come back to try to, you know, do the whole belt run and stuff like that to just fill in yeah. seats. But this one, this one here, I was like, yes, because Roman, this is the one that's going to solidify you. Mm-hmm. This is it. This this the one. Because Cena, when I tell you when, when Cena came, first of all, multiple pops for Cena. When he came back to music, when he took his hat off and and like and and they saw that that the other haircut was gone, even bigger pop. All right, yes. got his haircut again, whatever. And like you said too, like it's just the real number one came back. I saw a meme. I think it came from a ringside, uh, from ringside, whatever. Mm-hmm. It was a meme of Roman is looking like this, saying, "Imagine finally vanquishing off Edge, only to hear do 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 do. He be pissed like I don't hear that. I so what? Yes. another one. I be another so mad." One. <laughs> like, and this oh one is God. big match, John, at SummerSlam. Promoting two blockbuster movies. Listen, he may get that belt and go to Hollywood, with- bro. And that, and that, but that, but that's the thing too of like why for Roman, it's so important. We look at it from a John standpoint. Suicide Squad is coming out in August, um, and then he has a second movie coming out as well, I, I believe. Uh, but not only that. This can be the match that of where you have him break one of the most prestigious title records held to this day. Yeah. Roman, you could be responsible for John Cena becoming a 17-time champion. And then that's who we talk about for the next 25 years until the next person does it. Mm-hmm. So whether you love him and you don't mind doing that, there's also that point of where you hate him and you're like, yo, you did this to us. Yep. You fucking did this to us. But now on top of Roman's side, you stop that from happening. And then secondly, not only that, you beat the person who, if we just have to be honest, put you up there. Yeah. He put you on that pedestal and now he's trying to come take it away from you. Yeah. What are you going to do? Because for me, like I said, the, you know, in my opinion, the last time they clashed at No Mercy... For one, you could tell John John was doing it to because to help the company and that he knew he's about to go for a while. So you gotta right. do it now. Cause those had no mercy. It's yeah. a throwaway pay-per-view. Like what? Yeah. But I feel this is the official, the actual one. John's back for, for this program. He said five weeks. So now I feel in these next five weeks, we're gonna see some thunderous promos. Mm-hmm. I feel we're gonna see the Doctor of Thugonomics. I feel we're gonna, I feel he's gonna address that DUI. I think oh, yeah. I feel oh, I, I feel oh, yeah. he, He's definitely gonna do it. Uh, it's gonna get personal. Oh yeah. And honestly, I, I really cannot wait to see how this plays out. Though, like I said, I'm just very happy he's back, and I feel this is like this is WWE really, really making Summer SummerSlam like a loaded card. Like this, this is a SummerSlam main. This is a WrestleMania main event. Yeah. So, and we're getting it. We're getting in SummerSlam, and this is big. Yeah. I mean, I was really excited about it. I was too. I and now did like you said. This one is the icon versus icon yeah. match. This is where yes, Roman, you got it. This is now you. This is now yeah. your yard. Like I, I, if if he wins, John Cena will have to hit the. I acknowledge you. Yeah, because we haven't seen Cena. It's been over a year. A lo- actually, a little longer. Yeah, a little longer actually, because we didn't yeah. see him. The last time we saw him was WrestleMania, WrestleMania when he faced five, the Black Yeah, yeah. So it's actually been two years. No, it hasn't been That's two. No, no, it hasn't been two. No, I think it's been like it's like a year and a couple months. Probably, man. Because because Tank was uh, twice, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh, duh. Yeah. <laughs> I think, but I think it's, it's, it's been a year, but still, though, that's a long, long time. Long time. I, and then again, before that, not really seeing him. So, yeah, that's a lot because normally you'll see him at least maybe sprinkled in two or three times. But now, you know, because of crowd not being there, Thunderdome and him filming, like you said, we yeah. hadn't heard that. Doo-doo. Yeah, he was in none of the Thunderdome, Dun- Thunderdome, don't air at all, huh? At all, except for the WrestleMania one. That was about yeah, that it. was it, and that was it. Yeah. And so for him to be back now, and then that moves us now into like the raw recap that we're going to do. Um, him kicking off that show 
to address Roman. Like, yo, I don't even want to wait till Friday for y'all to have to wait. Because that's what you remember you telling me that. It was yes. like, yo, we got to wait till Friday to find out about all this. No, we did that's not. How, I was happy we didn't because I was like, I want to hear it now. Roman. I hear it um, now. Roman was definitely just to start off the raw recap. Roman was challenged by John Cena at SummerSlam for the Universal title. And um, quite simply put, the reason why he wants it and came back, not because of the title, but just quite simply, Roman is an asshole. Yeah. And he needs to be knocked down a few pegs. Crowd went crazy. Dude that was, was like, yes, we got real Cena tonight. Like, yeah, this was not this was not PG Cena. Mm-hmm. Like I said, too, like, and we, we, we can expect the promos to get off the rails like this. Be very energetic yes. because I can expect. Look, whoo, bro, man, and, and I can expect Roman to retort back to him. Remember when you feuded with my cousin and you called him a Hollywood sellout, right? Look at you now, right? But be- be- like you, better question. Be like, hey, you know what? Why you were in Shanghai with your fists? My ass was holding this place down. While yep. everybody else bolted and ran. The memory serves me correct. <laughs> didn't you go off running too? And if memory also served me correct, didn't the fiend run you off? And we saw what I did to him. Yep. So it's just like, yo, and to Ooh. be honest with you, Roman could really low key have him do that whole promo. And low key, Roman could say this one line. And walk off, and it would still just be as hard as anything seen to throw at him. All he has to do is walk up to him, straight up like this, start kind of walking up to where he can look at him like that, and then just put bring the mic to him. You should have stayed your ass in Hollywood. And walk off. Yeah. And that be it? Because it's like, that's yo, it. that's it? You should have stayed your ass in Hollywood. No, yeah. And then the it's next not- time it go down, it's like, I told you. You should have stayed your ass in Hollywood. Because they're going to get you. This is not your WWE anymore. Yo, and then you start seeing the Jay Uso attacks. Then the the, 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 bro, I'm tap, bro. I was like, there's a way Roman can handle handle this. Yeah. Like, he could really handle this. He was like, yo, he could throw, because if he want to throw shots with the DUI, I'd be like, look, man, you can try all you want, but hey, just like Nikki Bella, that 17th title going to slip through your fucking fingertips. By the way, how's the baby? Oh, oh bro, hey, that's all I don't ever let me be in the ring. And we go, oh, we breaking fourth wall? Don't do that. Don't break fourth wall with me. Don't do it. Yeah, yeah, I bring up. Because me, I'm the petty. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a make up mess. Hey, so uh, I heard, uh, uh, I heard you a uh, uh, backstage mess around with, uh, with such and such on the road. What's going on with that? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make up some stuff too. Yeah, so we're not gonna talk about you finger fucking live at the uh, Mister at Carl's Junior. Be like, hey, finger fuck the live. Oh my god, that's why she can't see him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The wildest stuff, and the I get. Stuff. I can't wait for it, man. I can't wait. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy on SmackDown. So, you know, we don't know. Again, we had to wait for that to happen. But like we said, John's back. We know what John wants and we know why John wants it. Like we said, we're all here for it. Um, And then just, you know, just. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was thinking about the time they were just drawing the Viking Raiders logo and they thought it was going to be the shit. And I was just like, this ain't it. <laughs> how many shirts have they sold? I want to know. How much How much merch have they sold? Seven. And one of those include mine because I got that for a birthday present for this girl I know who is really into Vikings. I know. Um, but uh, just from the just from the aftermath of that, uh, we had like triple threat action, like Riddle and the Viking Raiders defeating uh, AJ Omos and John Morrison. So um, I don't know if it's more of now it's the um, John Morrison and Riddle kind of doing their thing now or what. So um, I do. I do, unfortunately we didn't get to see Ricochet um, on Monday. So we would, you know, again, I hope they don't, you know, go with that BS again. But we'll, we will. We're going to see. Uh, we also had Jackson Ryder going out against Elias in a Symphony of Destruction match. Um, 
No one cares. They tried it, man. They tried it, didn't they? With Jack trying to get Jackson Riker over. No they, one cares. They, no, when I tell you, he got no reaction. No one cares. Nobody cared. No. And that's the worst. It's like, like a like, lot, like. It's just, bro, like, why do y'all keep doing Elias like this? Like, I don't know why. I'm not sure. Um, why? Like, I know Elias is like, why did y'all put Jackson Riker with me? Ooh, what did I, I do? That's You see what it's doing to me? Just think about it. You see what it's doing to me. Man. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being part of the Forgotten Sons and you get fired because of what somebody else said? In the yes. end, yes, I could. I would be so pissed, and I would be so pissed. I'd be so pissed too. So it's just like, but but now we're seeing just like how that pays off though. Because again, it's I, I don't know what's going to happen moving forward with the two of them. I'm sure Elias is going to be okay because you know Elias seems to kind of be in that team player role a little bit. So he seems yeah. to be with the company. So I'm yeah. sure that just like for a lot of these folks we're starting to see now, it will pay off for him. Um, we got to see the tag team, women's tag team championships and uh, uh, action and stuff like that. Natalia and Tamina beat Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Um, so one kind of hoping that closes the door with Jackson Shayna and maybe gets them back to like singles competition and stuff like that. I'm hoping for that. I'm hoping for that because um <clears throat> definitely need the, uh that more into the spirit. So United States champion uh Sheamus was uh going up against uh, uh Umberto Carrillo. Uh shout out for shout out to him for that um for a chance to get at the U.S. title, but didn't, um, came up short. So Damian Priest is uh, seeming to be the next one up uh, for the U.S. championship. I don't care. Uh, not, not yeah. Uh, Again, you, like so, uh, you remember, you'd be like, oh, yeah, I forgot Raw got another title. That's right, that U.S. title. Um, yeah. But more importantly, um, Keith Lee. The limitless one made his return and challenged the yeah. almighty. And I gotta Did be he get honest. It? No, what you gonna say? No, no, no. You, 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 you what? No, no, you about to ask what I was gonna ask. So what were you about to say? I was gonna ask. In your opinion, did Keith Lee get a monster pop when his music hit, or do you think the crowd couldn't recognize the music because it wasn't his original music from NXT? Absolutely. Absolutely. And when you don't hear bask in the glory, I'm like, I don't know why yeah. y'all are doing this. Also, too, though, I may have found something out about that. I think that has to do with rights as well. I think that was actually Keith Lee's decision to not move that song over. Oh, because remember, there's a lot of different things that go on in NXT. That's that right. They kind of do. And stuff but you like can't that. do on main roster. I think it was like CFO dollar sign, something like that, right? That company. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, because they use a different, yeah, they use different, like, right now it's John, it almost sounds like John Morrison, and then, like you said, them too, like, them are the ones that are still, uh, but it's not John Morrison, it's, it's John something too, that's also yeah. helping with the C dollar sign FO in making these, but also too, I yeah. think just maybe not wanting to give those rights there, because again, it's now going into uh, USA and Fox, and that's all, those are owned by them now, and NXT is still kind of owned by WWE. So yeah. there may be a little bit of that that difference in there. Maybe him not wanting to, you know, them not coming to terms with how that music and stuff is going to work. Same thing with names, too. That's why, you know, like Finn Balor changed his name and stuff like that. That's why um, uh, Akira Tazan will, like, change his stuff and stuff and everything like that, too. Uh, the Good Brothers as well, just to kind of just in case, you know, that don't work out, I don't lose my rights, like how we saw with the uh, with Cody and the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes and stuff. So... There may be things there, but I'd like you said, I think it was because of that we didn't know who he was. And then they didn't have yeah. like Keith Lee pop up in on the Titan Tron like that for us to go, okay. Oh so, yeah. There's another thing, but I but I guess for good reason too, because you know, he he uh challenged Bobby Lashley, did not win. Um Whew, I mean, and just got like <sighs> which again too, I get, don't get me wrong. I understand because of what you're trying to do for Bobby. Of course. All I know is this. If that man don't manhandle Goldberg when he face him, I'm calling racism and black on black crimes. You go stop having him dominate all these black athletes like that. And if you make him struggle with Goldberg, oh, we're going to talk about it. With, with Goldberg. 
You old better, Berg. You better run through Old Berg. Like, and, get, and then don't get me wrong, I am a major fan of Goldberg. Goldberg is one of the one reasons why I even wanted to become a wrestler. Stone Cold got me in it. Goldberg is one of the reasons why I wanted to become one. Yo, yeah. but at this point in time, Bobby, you better make him tap. You better put him to sleep. There can't be yeah. no, I'll be he better try to spear you and you stop it. Just grab him. Like, right into a hurt lock. Like, what are yeah. you doing? What are you doing? Try it again. Try it again. Oh, you want to jackhammer somebody? Oh, I'll leave you up all this long. You ever been you ever been held up this long? I know you can't hear me because the blood then, then got rushed yeah. out and you old, so you can pass out. I'm gonna drop you now. You ready? I need that. I don't need no, oh my god, Goldberg. He didn't. No, 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 because coffee could have done it, Keith Lee could have done it, hell Xavier could have done it. Don't do that. You yep. keep him dominant. You make sure he ain't got no problems with I Goldberg. I want him to run over Goldberg in less than like three minutes. I want That's that to I mean. be. A, I want that to be a squash. I, I want squash. it just like Brock. Spear, get back yep. up. Spear, hurt lock, win. How do you like over. that, old man? And then walk off. And then all That's of a sudden, it. here come Brock Lesnar's music. Like, yeah, oh. they perfect. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now we got. Now we got, we got set up. Would you? Would you keep? Would you keep the title on Lashley through WrestleMania next year, and then have last, and then have a uh, Lesnar challenge then? Or would you? Uh, or, or would you have him face off at Survivor Series? I want Lesnar now. I'm tired. Of, listen, I'm tired of the back and forth. I'm tired of the running. If I'm going to be honest, we should save it to WrestleMania now just because we're so close to SummerSlam and stuff like that. It may be a little bit too much. Like, if they were going to pull that trigger, it, it should have been this week. If not, yeah. maybe next week. But if they don't, then I don't think that's coming. But I definitely think we might see him beat Goldberg. If, if Goldberg is the match at SummerSlam, that may not be the match. I'm not sure. Um, but if it is, I would like to see that Brock come out of nowhere and then go like, yo, I'm back. And this is going to be my belt. But if memory serves me correct, he would, no, he, he won the title. He won his title on SmackDown. Then they moved him to Raw, correct? Yeah. Wait. Okay. So I, I can't remember what Brock is technically. Brock is technically. Oh no, he's on Raw. He's on Raw. That's right. He's on Raw. Yeah, because yeah, he lost to Drew. Drew. Yeah, he lost to Drew. His last time. No. Yeah, that was his last on. appearance. Yeah, yeah, that was his last appearance. Was on. Uh, was in WrestleMania. Because uh, WrestleMania. Yeah. Same thing as Cena. So it actually also kind of would be fitting. But we're gonna see. But I want to see him do Goldberg. Dirty, not dirty, let me not say dirty, but I would like to see him do it quickly because that is something I would like for that to be held over for Bobby when Brock come back. The dude that kicked your ass, I beat in 15 seconds. Ooh. Mess with Ooh, me that's a good want. one. Mess with that's me. That's a good one. Right. I it can't wait to see him, man. It yeah. sells itself. So I, I'm looking I, forward and, to seeing that. And we've been waiting. Been waiting, waiting. We've been like, waiting. Yo, yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm tired of waiting. I want, bro. I want to see it. I'm like, I want to see it. I want to, ooh, I want to see y'all break. I want to see you break k Break the goddamn k Break the goddamn k The goddamn k Fay. Vince Russo, tell him to break the goddamn k You know what it anyway, you son of a bitch. Break the goddamn k I want to see, I want to see, I want to see Brock try to throw a real shot at Bobby. I'm like, oh, word? Oh, oh, let me give you a receipt then. Come on. What's up? We gonna really add this match, or we gonna we gonna do what we gonna do? I'm not I'm not Braun. I'll knock you out, bro. Stop playing with me. This belt on me want. now. That's Stop what playing. Want. That's what I want. I want that. So we are gonna see what's gonna happen. But I'm just glad to see Bobby's back to business. That makes me feel like how you said that can extend to the next WrestleMania. I I'm okay for that. I'm here for that now. I don't mind seeing that. Um, what I'm not here for. Is carrying cross on Raw for no reason whatsoever. Um, hey, mind if I just insert a little, little fantasy book? If you don't, if you if you if, 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 if you guys don't mind, I can summarize. Uh, it was Snooze Fest. Carrying Cross got squashed by Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy brought his new music back, his old music back, which I popped for. I thought it was great. Um, a little 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 major fantasy booking to me. 
he, I feel Vince sees what I see. I don't see Karen Cross somebody I could really be like, okay, this is the top guy. No disrespect to Karen Cross. I don't find his magic exciting. I don't find him anything. His entrance is the best thing about the whole character and Scarlet. Like, that's it for me. It but, wasn't there this past yeah, long. She, well, he, he was, she wasn't there. His cool entrance wasn't there. Like, if anything, I would have liked a little miniature fantasy booking, although I know it's very bizarre. I would have enjoyed it. Um, it would have been cool if Jeff would have came out there and challenged for that NXT belt and won it. Didn't debut on NXT this week, and it has to for now. I, I do know that, I mean, it, th- those NXT guys may be a bit faster than Jeff is at his age right now, but I still think Jeff can put on some good matches with those people, with people down in NXT. It'll give, it'll give Jeff something to do. Like, Chen, Jeff Chen, isn't doing anything. Chen, he just beat the NXT champion. I don't think we'd have no problem seeing phenomenal matches from Jeff at NXT. Jeff versus Kyle O'Reilly, Jeff versus Adam, Jeff versus Johnny Gargano. Honestly, that would be the perfect medium for them to do. And it really, we just we just we just don't want to spell on carrying. That's all it really is. And and then again, too, it, it made no truth. it made no sense to bring him up. It made no sense to bring him here on Raw. At all. At all. And then, too, it also kind of made NXT look bad because it's like, yo, this is what happened with the champion? Because... Because Jeff, Jeff is a Jeff is booked as a as a mid-card right now. Lower mid-card at that. Right. And let me get this straight. The NXT champion came to the enemy territory and got his butt whipped by a mid-card wrestler future hall of famer but definitely part-time in it that's what you're on the ropes he on the ropes and and then last time let 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 let, let, let's let's not let's not even say that let's compare the last times last two times the nxt champion was on either of these shows Adam Cole came to SmackDown and told the WWE and told Daniel Bryan, I'll kick your ass up and down this ring. And did it flawlessly and showed them why it is undisputed in the middle of a SmackDown ring. Before that, Kevin Owens went on Raw Stood in John Cena's face, pop up power bombed him, stepped on the US title, and held the NXT championship up to say, We are where it's at. And then beat him clean on the next pay per view. Beat Cena clean at that pay per view. And so now we're at our NXT champion getting beat by a Swanton bomb from a part time. Legend, but no pop, and, no, no real return, no, no nothing. Just no. Jeff got new music. Let's have him pin the NXT champion. Yep, yep. What? And then Cross got on the mic and said, "You're gonna regret what?" He did what he's supposed to do. He won the match, and now you have to go. You just choked out Samoa Joe. That's, that's why waiting. Like, why that's waiting for you tonight. Like, why are you here? I did not understand. I'm like, Karen, are you from Dallas or something? Like, why is he here? That made seen, no sense. I could have seen if that was Bronson Reed facing Jeff, and Bronson Reed actually won the match because he lost his title. And I know they said they have him coming to the main roster soon. I could understand that. I don't get Karrion Cross, who's the current champion. That's what I'm saying. It lets you know they don't view him as no top champion. For real. He's not. Like, I don't view him as no, my guys, please put the belt on Finn or put it on Gargano or put it back on Cole. Well, as we learned, somebody. Finn, Finn is on SmackDown now, as we did learn uh, yeah. from, from the last one, which um, happy but not happy because I'm just like, they're gonna mess it up again. Right, They're gonna mess it right. Up again. They're but as always, up. though, he can go back to NXT. That's one thing. Is yeah. NXT will always be his home. So 
Yeah. I like that, but we, yeah. we, we shall yeah. see. Yeah. Main event of Raw, the women's championship. Yes, Rhea Ripley um wanted her rematch, asked for the smoke, and so Charlotte delivered in giving her her rematch. Um and Rhea Ripley did win, but unfortunately she did win by disqualification. Um mm-hmm. and due to her doing that, um uh, put them hands on Charlotte after the match and knocked Charlotte out to allow Nikki Cross to cash in her money in the bank that she recently won this past Sunday and is now the Raw Women's Champion. Wow. Let me tell you something, guys. Um, okay. Now, Nikki, Cro- Nikki Cross deserves a push. Been here for a while. Got herself in amazing shape. Was already in great shape. Got even super fit. And you got even more fit. I was like, now for me, I I saw this happening, right? I saw a cash in happening. So I was like, are we, we're really going to do this on Raw? Like, I'm, I'm ha- like, I'm happy she won. But I'm just like, are you guys afraid to do any long-term storytelling tell- booking with the Miss Money in the Bank briefcase? Does it always have to be hot shot at the net? Oscar won it last year and won the title the next night. The same thing happened last year. And thing. somebody else did that. Oh, Alexa. Alexa did it the same night. When she pinned uh, uh, Nia Jax, she pinned, she cashed it in the same exact night as Money is the Bank, the day she won it. Bailey cashed in the same night, too? I'm just like, I, I, I don't, I'm with you. I don't get why this would be the perfect thing to build some one of those women, especially the women that were in that match. Would have been a great time to use that to build Liv Morgan. Would have been a great time to build Zelina Vega. But... I know where that flaw went into. And then that leads back to bad booking at Money in the Bank. Why? Let's look at it. If we if we if we caught it by now, sir, one brand can't have both cases. So it's always got to be swapped. Either either men got to be on SmackDown, women in Raw, vice versa. So since we know it went to the women this time for Raw, as we've seen it always been going to SmackDown lately, where it messed up was the people you selected from the raw side, you did none of them need that to push them. Except maybe Nikki. But again, like for like Alexa, Alexa already has that personality and stuff like that. It's just you need to put her in a feud with the title. And we already understand that because we know she's a champion. Same thing for Naomi. So this didn't necessarily need to build them. So the only one really left on that side is Nikki. And I forgot who the fourth person was um, over there that would count, I guess, one of the tag champs, I believe. But I think. But there was no one else that, that would that would help boost to money in the bank that couldn't get a title match right now if they really wanted it. Like if Naomi literally came out with a microphone and said, Bianca, I want to shine the title. Easy, easy. Reverse it, Charlotte. You already know what's up. I want a yeah. shot at the title. And she did it that night. Book it. Yeah. And then so, they won. On, so, so on Raw, there was only one person who it made sense to give to. But as we said, you're not booking her to push it as that. Nope. It's a good gimmick. I, I'm lying. It's it's a gimmick. It's a, it's a gimmick. It's, it's a not, gimmick. not to me. To me, it's not good. Like I get. For the kid audience, though, and I understand the, the need because the, the kids do matter in the audience of the WWE universe. We all matter. But I tell people, but I'm not a kid, so I won't get it the same way they would. And it's just like the costume looks stupid. It looks dumb. It doesn't look like she can even move in it well. It doesn't look like it. That's a short-ass superhero. I guess that's yeah. she's almost a superhero. Yeah. Like, and I just, like, it wasn't, I felt like, you know, it's like no disrespect to, and I, I know, I know I'm going to sound like, like, like Jim Cornette, whatever, but last night we got a smash mouth wrestling match from Charlotte and Rhea Ripley over that title. 
And that's how I felt like a big deal when Charlotte lifted it up and held yes. it like that. Because you could tell Charlotte was going through hell to put down Rhea Ripley. She went through, you could tell. And so the next night when they went through that match and I saw the superhero jump in the ring and do like the quick pin for the cash in. And I see her hold it up in the costume and all that. It's just like, I see a silly storyline coming out of it. And like, I'm not, and this isn't against Nikki at all. No, nothing like that. It's just how I'm viewing it compared to what that match I saw at Money in the Bank. Charlotte flipped off the crowd to start that match. Flip the bird on a, on a Fox USA programming. Yeah. Yeah, and so now I was like, I see Nikki Ash, and I'm very, I'm very happy she's the women's champion. She deserves it. She's worked very hard. It's just that, like, I don't know. It's that, like, I, I wanted to be a little, I want to be more serious. As serious, like, you want to win the champion. The championships are serious. Like, the goofy storylines can go elsewhere. Never with the, never with any champ. The championships are the titles are serious. Well, well, People take them serious. Well, the thing is, it's like if you're if you're going to do it. And you're going to do it. This is a classic thing of showing why in movies we needed something new. So let's just kind of even like backtrack with this one because I know you know we're gonna we're getting ready to close out and stuff. Just talking yeah. about this because I know we want to get in the SummerSlam. Um, costume heroes don't work in this era dressed like that. Remember, like Marvel wouldn't be where it's at right now had Christopher Nolan not made The Dark Knight and showed us how to put yep. superheroes into the realism of today's world. Now, you've clearly shown us you don't know what to do with superheroes because one, you, ha you have one currently, you don't push that gimmick with, and you could, which is Ricochet. Ricochet is a yep. Marvel character come to life that you kind of push that towards but you didn't and again i don't even mean him having to be dressed up like that i mean like nigga honestly get that man a, a nightwing suit and watch him come out and tell me people wouldn't watch that they would flock to it man and so it's just like we're seeing nikki in this basic you know classic costume which again it is under the classic reign but it's like it doesn't work. And then to the way you make her in the winnings of this, which is by luck, which is by chance, doesn't help either. Like if you told me like, and we saw her starting to do like phenomenal strengths and stuff when it came to do things like, yo, my God, how did Nikki just do that? It's like, that would make sense. Even to mimic yep. some of maybe the Hulk Hogan moves, take it back to the old school where like the DDT is a little bit harder. The body splash is just a little bit harder. Then that would have made this okay when you put the belt on her, but we now see what's going to come. She's going to have a very mundane run as the Raw Women's Champion. It's not going to be one where it's supposed to be a good one, and it's going to put a bad taste in people's mouths for it when it comes to going like, hey, can it be a second one? I will think she will have a fun run for however long they make this run fun. Yeah. But I don't think she's gonna make it to SummerSlam with that title. I'm sorry. I, I agree. Well, and I, I hate to cut you off though. Uh, my wife just got here with the baby and everybody in the garage though. I'm a, I, I I gotta go down there and get that. Give me a unless you want to rap or pause. Hey man, listen, pause. listen, listen. As y'all know, K Fabe is ran by two very busy people. We got a family <laughs> man here. We got a man that's always having. I just got the taste right here. Oh yeah, exactly. But hey man, it, it came honestly at the perfect time because we are coming coming to a close. We already threw some of our fantasy booking in throughout the uh podcast as well, and it's just matching up for SummerSlam, which we know, which is the big card. It's gonna be John Cena versus Roman Reigns for the Universal Title at SummerSlam in Vegas hosted by Cardi yeah. B. So you already know we're going to be talking about it. So yeah. we got to I'm going to see y'all later. Yes, Love indeed. you guys. Kayfabe, we're going to catch you Love next you. time. Love you, bro.